Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Angeline and this is a 20 minute funky balance flow. So a lot of standing balances today on one leg. We're gonna really work into those small muscles of the feet, of the ankles. Um, but remember, when you're balancing, it's not just about your foot, but it's about that whole side of the body. So being mindful that if you start to feel maybe cramping into the arch, what are you doing to help that? Can you, you know, press down more through the foot? Can you lift up more through the leg? So don't just rely on your ankle and your foot to balance you, but keep in mind, it's that full side of the body anchoring you down. So let's get started. We will start um, standing at the top of our mats in mountain pose. I will see you there. Close your eyes in your mountain pose and take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Again, inhale, exhale. One more in and an out. Let's warm up with three rounds of sun A. Inhale, sweep the arms up, blink the eyes open. Exhale, forward fold, head drops down nice and heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, step your feet back to plank pose. Pause on the in breath, hug everything into midline. Exhale, lower down to your belly in five, four, three, two, one. Point the toes, inhale, cobra pose, float the chest up. Exhale, release your forehead back down, retuck the toes under, plank pose, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels nice and high. Exhale, bend the knees, move forward, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, both arms reach up nice and high. Exhale, hands to heart, center, samastihi. Inhale, sweep the arms up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, let the head drop heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, step your feet back to plank. Pause on the in-breath. Lower to the belly in five, four, three, two, one. That's our out-breath. Inhale, King Cobra, press up a little higher this time. Draw those shoulders down. Exhale, melt your head. Forehead down to the mat, release. Tuck the toes, plank pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, move forward, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, both arms high. Exhale, samastihi, bring your hands to heart center. One more round. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank, hop or step it back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths in our down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale, and exhale. Lift the heels nice and high. Move forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Rise to stand, hands to heart. Take one more breath in, one more breath out. One legged mounts and pull the right knee up as you send the arms high. Now, like I was saying in the intro of this practice, lift up, right? So not just relying on the foot, but already feeling the engagement of the calf, the quad, and the glute. Lift yourself up and out. Now pull your right heel up towards the sky so you're floating the inner thigh up, really pressing up through that heel. Bring the ankle to your left thigh, sit the pelvis back, come into figure four or awkward chair. Pelvis back, heart forward. Find one point of focus. 
start to twist towards the left. Hook your right elbow now to the outside of that foot. Keep the gaze down for stability or turn the gaze up for a little challenge of balance. Press the foot into the hand, hand into foot. Draw the lower part of your belly in. Fly the arms out now, maybe right arm down, left arm up, open up through heart center. Draw the belly even further. Take your left hand now to the outside of your right foot, right arm up towards the sky as you come up to stand. Kick that foot forward if you'd like or keep the knee bent and draw the right arm behind you. Press the shoulder back. Lift out of your left bottom. So underneath your left booty cheek, create some space. Take one more in breath. As you exhale, right hand comes to the inside of the foot. Bend the elbows of that leg, maybe just a couple inches higher. Press down through all four corners of the standing leg, standing foot. Keep the leg straight, tick tock the leg back, airplane pose. Arms back, right leg extends, roll the shoulders back. Hug the lower ribs in, elongate through the back of that right knee. Take one more in breath. As you exhale, bring your hands to heart center, Shiva squat, knee to knee, tap the foot down, bend the knees as much as you can, sit back, come into a little toe stand, lean the chest back. On your next in breath, shoot your right foot back behind you and up, standing split, hands to the mat, forehead towards the shin. Take a generous breath in. Exhale, squeeze your heel to your bottom, left hand to that right foot. Press the right knee up towards the sky, little quad stretch. Adjust your hand to the pinky side of that foot. Pull the heel in, lift the heart up. Strong through your core, reach your right arm forward, awkward dancer pose. Kick your foot into your hand, lift your heart up. Reach to the right fingertips. Now reach your right arm behind you, grab a hold of that shin, press your foot shin into your hands. Adjust your left arm down now, half moon with chapasana, right hand to the right foot, lean the chest back, press the knee away from you, draw the belly in. Right into dancer's pose, traditional, adjust your hand to the Big toe side of the foot, kick the foot back and up. Reach your left arm high, stay with it, breathe with it. Then right foot behind left as you come to standing, crisscross mountain pose, both arms high. This should feel really nice here. Two feet are down and dive it into a fold. Let your head drop, stretch it out for a moment. Shake out your head no, nod your head yes. Maybe rock those hips side to side, maybe walk the hands over to the left, and then walk the hands over to the right. Bring your hands back to center. Now working into one arm balance of practice, lift your heels up, bend your knees, keep your ankles together, plant your knees on those arms, crisscross crow pose, squeeze your heels to your booty. Take one more in breath, exhale, bring your feet together, Plant the feet neutral, forward fold, head heavy. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise to stand, deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, one-legged mounts and pull the left knee up. Stand tall through that right side of your body. Each side's gonna feel a little bit different and that's okay. Lift out of the right hip. So again, I'm lengthening through my hamstring, creating space under my bottom. Bring your hands to heart center. Kick your left heel up towards the sky as high as you can get it, then pull that foot ankle in as you send your booty back for your figure four. Pause here, steady the breath, steady the gaze. Lower the chest a little bit more, twist to the right, hook your left elbow underneath your right foot. Press down through your right big toe as you roll your right shoulder back. Gaze down for stability, gaze up for a challenge. Press down through all four corners of the right foot, the standing leg. 
If you start to rotate weight onto one side, then you have to press more weight into the other. Let's fly those arms out. Left arm up, down, right arm up. Roll the shoulder back. Breathe here. Hug the inner thighs, draw the belly in. Now take this top hand, right hand to the outside of your left foot. Pull the knee into your chest as you send your left arm high, rise up. Press your left leg forward, straight leg, or you can keep the knee bent, of course. Left arm reaches behind you. Hold the twist. You should already feel a lot of heat turn on to that right leg. Breathe deeply, breathe fully. The gaze will move forward, left hand to the inside of the left foot. Bend the elbows, maybe lift the leg a couple of inches, maybe a foot, doesn't matter. But keep your leg active, keep your standing leg active. Find one point to focus. Tick-tock your left leg through into airplane pose. Fly those arms back. Lower your chest. Anchor through the balls, ball of your right foot. Hug the lower belly in. Steady the breath, steady the gaze. Bring your hands to heart center. Shiva squat, but we'll tap that left foot down to the ground and then take a seat. So we're balancing on the ball of the back foot, the left leg, lean back. One more in breath. Exhale, frame out your front foot, standing split. Shoot that leg, left leg up behind you as you lower your chest down, forehead down. Bend your top leg, your left heel towards your bottom. Take your right hand, grab a hold of that foot. Press the knee up towards the ceiling. Nice little quad stretch before we transition to our next pose. Adjust your hand now to the pinky side of the foot. Really zip up through that inner thigh and belly. Start to lift the chest first halfway. Reach your left arm forward as you rise on up to awkward dancer pose. Kick the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Roll the shoulders back. Add on, left hand behind you, hold on to your shin. Press your shin into both hands, or your foot into your hand, shin into your other. Adjust your left hand now to your left foot. Right arm reaches forward and down. Open yourself up to half moon with Chapasana. Move slowly, no rush here. Spiral the right inner thigh forward. Press your foot into your hand, hand into your foot, breathe. Adjust your hand now to the big toe side of your foot as you drop the knee down, kick the foot back and up, send the right arm high, traditional dancer pose. Engage your right quadricep. Breathe fully, breathe deeply. Uh, release, left foot behind right. Crisscross mountain pose, stretch up, that should feel so good for that right leg, that release. And fold forward. Shake out your head, no, nod your head, yes. Maybe shift the hip side to side. Maybe walk your hands to the right. And to the left. Either way, we'll walk it back to center. Make your way into our crisscross crow pose. One little arm balance of practice. Shift your weight. Squeeze the heels in. Breathe. And bring your feet together. Tap the feet down. Traditional forward fold, head drops heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, both arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, one-legged mountain, pull the right knee in. Exhale, airplane pose, send your right leg back. Now we're gonna take all our weight into our right foot at the back of the mat, transition into one-legged mountain. Step all the way back, shift the weight, lift that foot. All right, we're at the back of our mat. Left leg is high. Straighten out the left leg. Use the strength of the leg to lift that leg a little bit higher. Now take your peace fingers, grab your left big toe. Lift up even taller, maybe open the arm leg out to the side. Bend your left knee now. Bring your right hand underneath that foot, lift that heel up. Left hand drops down, pull the knee back behind your shoulder. We're taking it into a standing compass pose or sundial. So right hand to the outside of the foot, 
Straighten that leg up, open up through heart center. It is a lot, so if it's too much stretch, then keep the knee bent. We'll rewind the same way we came in, pull that knee back, hold it here. Now maybe you just nestle your, sh your shoulder under the knee, take your arm wrap for your full bind into your birds of paradise with a bent or a straight leg. Woo! Let's release out of it into one-legged mountain. Step the foot forward, crescent lunge with airplane arm. Stretch out through that back foot. That should feel pretty good in the arch now. And all you're gonna do is rock your heel down and up just a couple of times. Neutral crescent lunge, lift the heart, plant the hands down, step the right foot forward, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Rise up to stand, deep breath in. Hands to heart center, deep breath out. Second side, one-legged mountain, pull the left knee up. Send it back into your airplane. Transfer all your weight into that back foot. We're taking our momentum to that back foot into one-legged mountain. Pull the knee up. Pause. Stabilize. Hold. Straighten out the leg. Lift the leg as high as you can. Bring your peace finger to that right big toe. Lift the leg even higher. Open your right leg out. Left arm out to the side. Breathe. Bend your knee now. Bring your heel towards you like we did in transition to our figure four. But this time, you can hold as you are, of course, or take your hand under your ankle, release your right hand to the bottom of your ankle, and pull that knee back. So even just working here is a lot and plenty. If you'd like to go further, hand to the outside of the foot, press that leg up, maybe you straighten it out, press down through left big toe, and then we come out the same way we came in, bend the knee. Now, pull your knee back even more. Wrap your right arm behind your leg, left hand behind. We come into Birds of Paradise right away standing. Straighten the leg or bend the knee. A lot of times we come from the fold, but we're taking it right into it. Release the foot, release the arms. One-legged mountain, giant step forward. Fly the arms back, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Shift your weight forward and back a few times. And rise up to crescent lunge neutral, arms high. Release your hands to the ground, step forward, forward fold. Bend your knees, come into a little ball. Hands on the ground for support. Lift your heels really high. Press your ankles forward. Lower the heels down. Again, lift it up and lower it down. One more time, lift it up and lower it down. Let's take a seat onto our bottoms, bring your feet together. Take your thumbs, let me actually face you for this. Take your thumbs into your arches and just kind of press down and forward into the big toe mound. So we did a lot, a lot standing, bouncing, and in a really short amount of time. So let's just give some love to the bottoms of our feet for a moment. Nice little massage. Yeah. All right. Take your right leg on top of your left for a fire log pose. Lift up the chest and then just a gentle fold forward again to those hips. Breathe fully, breathe deeply. Let's release it out. Simply switch sides, bring that right leg under, left leg on top, fire log, and hold. So there's different schools of thought that we should be able to get into some of these poses immediately, no problem, without warming up. And other thoughts are, no, you should definitely properly warm the body up to get into poses. So you'll decide what works best for you. I do think that if we move enough, then ultimately we should be able to get into most postures, um, whenever we need them, right? Um, just like if we needed, we're walking down the street and we needed some pose for some reason right away, then boom, we should get into it. Um, but some people don't believe that and that's totally okay. So 
If this class felt a little bit too challenging right off the bat, let's straighten out the legs now, um, then know you can always take a class to warm up the body before we get into it. Because it is a lot. We went into a, some really intense standing balances right away, okay? Pull the pelvis back, reach the arms up, deep breath in. As you exhale, grab a hold of your toes, pull your toes back, and then press your toes forward, but keep pulling your toes back. So as it's you're pointing your feet, but pulling your toes back, we call these yogi, yogi toes. Just pull, pull, pull as you draw your heart forward. Then point your toes, press your hands down the tops of the feet. You'll feel a stretch to the ankles, let the head drop heavy. Then around on up, cross those legs. Bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes for just a moment. Rub the hands, create some heat. Place the warmth of the left hand on the heart, right hand on top of the left. Bow the chin. Thank your body, thank your breath. Thank yourself for being on your mat for 20 minutes today. I want to thank you and until next time, namaste. All right, friends, great job. That was a lot, really deep into the hamstrings and the hips right off the bat. So um, good job. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Um, if you have requests for any future classes, please put them in the comments below. Also, kinesi.com is where I hold my membership platform. It's classes five minutes to 60, 70 minutes, some of them. So a lot longer classes, a lot more variety. If you're interested, you can start with a free seven day trial. That link is of course below too. And this is our final week before we leave for Montenegro. So if you're interested, I have a couple more spots available. I would love to have you. Um, eight days, seven nights in Montenegro, all inclusive. The only thing that you would have to cover separate from the retreat is your airfare. Um, but we have some shared spots still available. Um, take a look at the link. If you have questions, ask me and hopefully I might see you there. And if I don't see you there, maybe the next time around, but all in all, my friends have a wonderful rest of your day, morning, wherever you're at while you're watching this video. Thank you so much and until next time.